so wonderful having you in the studio because this is a full circle for you. Yes. Back in Toronto, Bend It Like Beckham was at TIFF, what, 2002? Yes. And here we are with the musical. This place must be special for you. It's very special. It's also special because I met my husband. Yes! In, in the, my very first TIFF, which was uh, years earlier, in 1994. Wow. Um, with Barchi on the Beach, my first film. But um, Toronto is a wonderful city and I love coming back. I'm Jess. I'm Jules. Come meet the Harriers. <laughs> so your folks are all right with this? Uh, yeah. I can't think of a better city to launch the show in. Uh, it's such a, an amazingly diverse city, and the, the stories and themes of the musical are sort of richer and deeper than the movie. I mean, really? If you like, yeah, if you like the movie, that's great. Yeah. But I think the musical gives you a whole lot more, if yeah. you like, and um, seeing the acting, they're all local actors, right. local cast, and when they're up there singing their hearts out about you know, poor old Jess, what's going to happen to her? And, and the parents are singing and the girls are singing. <laughs> it's like a big emotional It sounds like a Bollywood movie right there. We love, we all share the fortune and the People think it's about soccer and a comedy, but at its core, it's really about racism. It that, is. You know, that the first generation, the immigrant generation sort of suffered, and then they try and protect their kids from it but the kids have to go out and find their own way. Mm -hmm. And that is really mined further through music and song and dance mm -hmm. in the musical. Girls aren't supposed to play soccer. My mum's never wanted me to play. You just can't take no for an answer. Whoops. Oh, will you both pack it in? I'm not going to give it up. All I'm saying is there is a reason why Sporty Spice is the only one of them without a boyfriend. The point of being able to speak up for yourself was a big moment for South Asian women. Did you? realized that reflection it was going to happen, that the people were going to react yeah, that way. I mean, it wasn't just South Asian women, all women. Yeah. You know, for me, the, the Brenda Light Beckham was an opportunity to make a film that was really about um, female empowerment. Yeah. Because all types of girls, you know, people always have an opinion of how they should look, how they should dress, what they should aspire to, what they shouldn't aspire to. You know, girls are the ones that have the most pressure on them growing up. and. Mm. I wanted to make a film where the girl, where you went through the pressure that both girls, you know, uh, suffer. But at the end of the day, the girls get to have their cake and eat it, you know. <laughs> I think it is that universal story of being a kid and wanting to do something so bad that your parents don't approve of, and then you've got to find a way to yeah. sort of do what you want but keep them happy. Yeah. And surely that's the story of all our lives, all right? All our lives, all of our lives. I'm still doing it at this age. I'm 40, I'm still trying to make my parents happy. This is where you spoil her to work. No, this is how it started with your niece, running off to become a model wearing small, small skirts. Mom, she's a fashion designer. She's divorced, that's what she is. You've been directing for 30 years, <laughs> and you just got acknowledgement from the British Film Institute being yes. one of the UK's most prolific female director. Congratulations yes. on you. that. Thank you. Being a director and seeing now other women going behind the camera, yeah. do you feel you're part of that journey to help these women continue doing that? Oh my gosh, yeah. I mean, there, there's nothing so wonderful as when uh, women directors come up to me and say, wow, you so inspired me and, yeah. and I'm here because I saw you do it. Mm -hmm. And that again was my intention, you know, when I started out in my career. And then you look at the Golden Globe nomination, not one female yes. director was nominated. Oh, that's bad. Right? Yeah, that really sucks. It um, really does. Uh, Ava yeah. Duvernay, uh, Greta yeah. Gerwig, like, nothing's ha Yeah. Does that frustrate you? Um, you know what, I was pretty, uh, you know, I mean, I did feel bad on the day, mm -hmm. but then, you know, you have to understand that, um, you know, I think that people don't see the world like we do, you mm. know, and um, and I think you that means that we can't measure ourselves up against their standards, mm -hmm. you know. So I think that uh, it's important that you don't get hoodwinked by all that and that you kind of go, OK, well, that's their way of measuring what they think. And I have my own way, you know, I, I genuinely feel that Things that I've created, you know, change people's lives and change the way people think. And for me, that's a massive, a massive achievement from where I started.